G'day, welcome to Jez Reviews today. We're back, uh, now legal, so we're back on track now. We've got plenty of time to review beers. Now, today we're reviewing a beer. It's called the Scarecrow Organic Golden Pale Ale from Witchwood Brewery. Now, this beer is uh, brought down to uh, down to me by uh, Swill and Grog, who came down for my wedding and uh, greatly appreciated. These beers are, are very hard to get, and he found it in, uh, I believe, in Brisbane somewhere, and uh, he was nice. He brought me down two beers. Um, and this is one of them. So yeah, fantastic! A big thanks to Swill and Grog. So I'm um, lucky enough to review this. It's yeah, like I said, the Scarecrow. As you can see, the artwork very nice. Scarecrow there, organic golden pearl. Wow. Now, okay, so that's the beer. There. That's what it looks like. You got one thing of head. It's off white, and the color is. It's an orange appearance. It's and it, you cannot see through it. So the aroma. The aroma. It's not as it's not as pungent as you think. It's got a lot of aroma there. Uh, you get some malts and a bit of hops. So a uh, big cheese. Let's get into it. First thing I notice, it's got a light to medium body. Maybe more on the medium side. It's got a nice little malt presence there. It's also got a hop bitterness that uh, it keeps on keeping on after you take a sip. Now, and right now, I'm still. That that is really that business is hanging around and it's really drying up the uh, the old palate there. So let, let's go again. A little bit of citrus, more of a malt. The business once again is picking up. The drinkability, why I'd say it's it's the middle of the road kind of up. Uh, English parlor. I think uh, really nice parlors that I've really enjoyed in time have been a landlord parlor. Um, this one's probably a step below that, but this is still a nice beer, don't get me wrong. Fruit fly. But uh, the like I said, drinkability, yeah you can you can have a few of these quite easily. The more you drink it the more you enjoy it. It's got a nice like I said, nice little business. It's soft, it's smooth, it dries the mouth. Uh, very, very drinkable, very sessionable. Uh, probably thinking about you know, like price wise, I think uh, Swill and Grog paid about probably six dollars fifty for this, uh, which is you know it's pretty expensive. Um, Might say that a lot of the English ales here, you pretty much buy them per bottle, and they're uh, they're not overly cheap. Like the landlord here. Parallel is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about eight dollars, around eight dollar mark. So it's not cheap. <sighs> it's not as sweet as I imagine. That bitterness kind of cleans it up. It's kind of, it's kind of got like a, yeah, it's got some like light caramel malts there. A bit of, maybe a bit toasty, toasty malt. But it's pretty much taste way it looks, that's that's for sure. And that bitterness is definitely there. They say in the back here they use uh, whole leaf target hops. Okay, so I don't, don't know if the target hops are the relation to the Fuggles or the East or the Golding, so I'm not too sure. But they're an English hop. It's got that English hop flavour. It's kind of like a soft, a soft beer, if that makes sense. I don't know, it tastes soft, but it is pretty smooth. Um, taste, taste wise, not too bad. Probably Witchwood Brewery, the, the Hog Goblin is just a real a real good little beer and uh, that's one of Witchwood, if I was going to go anywhere at Witchwood I'd probably go that way. Um, it's a really enjoy, enjoyable beer. So, but saying that, it's, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not bad, it's pretty solid this one. It's a, a, a very solid uh, parallel. There's Scarecrow from Witchwood Brewery. Look, if you can get a score, probably go around, probably a solid B. A solid B for the English parallel. Um, it's definitely something you'd like to have. Fresh is best. Uh, I think this goes out of date 31st of July. But um, yeah, it's still a date and not too bad. But a big thanks to Swillagrog for bringing this all the way down to my place, uh, my part of the woods. Um, you know, yeah, greatly appreciate it. Thanks, mate. And uh, it's been really, yeah, really interesting to uh, to review this beer because otherwise I'd never see, I never even heard of this beer till. Swill and Grog brought it down for me, so big, big thank you there, and, and yeah, a beat worth a try, uh, if you're on your English pal uh, journey, 
definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good English powerhouse out there, and they're really good coffers, some to sit back, relax, and enjoy, along with the English bitters as well. Especially coming to winter down here, where everyone starts to feel like the darker beers. So, thanks for watching this episode, Jeff Reviews. You all take care.